Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and we're going to take a look at how easily you can root this device running Android 5.0 Lollipop as some of you seem to be having problems with it so I'm going to show you how I did it. Now this process will not remove any of your data so your data will be safe but as with any flashing or messing around I will advise that you have a backup of anything important. And with that in mind I'll just show you what I'm running so we'll go into settings then down to about device and if you scroll down you can see my model number there SM-G900F this definitely works with this variant I have no other variant to test so I can't say it works with any others Android version 5.0 Lollipop and you can see the baseband version here now you do also need to unlock developer options so if you haven't already done so tap on build number seven times until it says you are a developer then when you go back a step you should be able to see developer options here so head on over here scroll down and make sure there's a tick next to USB debugging accept the prompt on the screen and then turn your device off obviously this process will void your warranty and also trip the Nox counter which cannot be reset back so once your device is off volume power down and the home button simultaneously until your device gets into download mode like so and then press volume up to continue and then plug in your handset into your computer once connected if your computer starts to install drivers just let it finish before you continue you can see I've got Odin in the top right of my screen here if you don't have it I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below now in the next step we need to download a couple of files the first one is team win recovery project uh, the recovery console that we're going to install and I'm going to install the latest one here so we're going to click on that to download it you can see it's version 2.8.4.0 and it's ending in dot tar now once it's uh, finished downloading you don't need to extract it or anything like that you just leave it as it is it's not a very big file and as you can see it's started downloading now the second file that you're going to need to download is from Chainfire's download site for Super SU version 2.4 He's an excellent XDA developer and this would not be possible without him. So if it helps you out, do make sure you donate and just click the download link underneath. Again, the links to both of these files will be down in the description box below. Those are both finished downloading and you can see there they are on my desktop. So we now need to flash the TeamWin recovery project file first. So we're going to load up Odin, hit run to this little window here and just bring this up into the right hand corner so it looks a little bit cleaner now you'll notice a blue com port lit up here now this symbolizes that the phone is talking to the computer AOK. -okay. in slightly older versions of Odin this may be yellow but either way it needs to be lit up so if it's not lit up check uh, your USB cable from your computer to your phone try a different USB cable maybe maybe a different USB port possibly one at the back of the computer and failing that reinstall the drivers fresh from the Samsung website Website. leave everything else as it is as you can see on the screen here so auto reboot and F reset time being the only boxes ticked then place a tick next to where it says AP in previous versions it was showing as PDA but it does the same thing so click on this here loads up the window as you can see so what we're going to do is head on over into our desktop locate the file that we've uh, downloaded which is open recovery twerp here it is and then hit open and then we're going to hit start now it flashes by very very quickly so it's only going to take maybe 30 seconds if that to go through more like about 10 or 15 seconds then it's going to reboot the phone we no longer need odin so we can close this down and we'll just wait for the phone to finish rebooting excellent the phone's finished rebooting so we're just going to swipe it in here and as it's still connected to the computer we're just going to move back over to the computer again we'll just open up the device files here so we can see what's running now you can either place the file that we downloaded this beta super su file you don't need to extract it or anything so all we're going to do is right click and copy and you can either put it on the sd card on your phone or on the phone's internal storage i'm going to place it straight onto the phone's internal storage like so and then we're done with the computer so we can exit out of this and then unplug it from the computer here as well so the next thing that we're going to do is a power the phone off so we can get into the twerp recovery console so we'll just turn this off 
as soon as it's off we'll press volume up power and the home button simultaneously like so until it gets into twerp there we go so we just let go of all the buttons and what we're going to do is head on over into install and then we need to locate that beta super su file now it automatically puts you into sd card which is the phone's internal storage so if you put that file into uh, the micro sd card you'll have to go up a level and locate external card but i'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and there it is you can see so i'm going to tap on that and i'm going to hit swipe to confirm flash so there we go it should go through the motions as you can see on the screen and you standard error message that you get which is fine we're gonna hit reboot system if you do get stuck in a boot loop then just get back to the same area and wipe cache and start again so we're gonna reboot system now excellent the phones finished rebooting so we'll head on over here so that process was twofold the first step was to install twerp recovery and the second step was to flash the super su file using twerp so now we're going to check to see if it's actually uh, rooted the device and you can see my wallpaper is how it was before the icons are still left where they were so you don't lose any of your data now we're going to use root checker basic which is a completely free application from the play store uh, so we're going to give this a go current device as you can see verify root access and yes this is what should happen grant access when super user requests it and boom that's how easily congratulations this device has root access that's how easily you can root android 5.0 lollipop on the samsung galaxy s Five. as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comments section down below there or hit me up on social media twitter and instagram at inamka4 i do post up a lot of photographs from varying devices over on instagram so do check me out over there and if you found this video informative and helpful do give us a thumbs up and if you're new and you want to tag along hit that subscribe button just down there it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day, and we'll see you next time.